In this video, we'll be solving an abstract equation. We're asked to solve this equation for C. Now notice that C occurs just this one time. There are a number of ways to attack this problem, but I think that the first thing that I'll do is distribute this V through the parentheses and remove those parentheses. So copy my y, and then when I multiply v times the fraction a over x, I have va in the numerator and x in the denominator, plus, and then when I multiply v times this fraction, b over mc, I have vb in the numerator and mc in the denominator. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by a product which will remove the denominators. So I need to remove x, m, and c. So I'll multiply both sides by the product x, m, c. On the left side I have x, m, c, y. When I distribute x, m, c to the first term here, my x's will cancel since this is in the numerator and this one's in the denominator. And I'll have v, a, m, c. And when I distribute x, m, c to this term, the m and the c both cancel with this one. And I have v, b, x. Now again, let's locate the variable that we're solving for, which is c. Notice I have a c here and a c here. So I want to put those two terms together on one side of the equation. Let's subtract v, a, m, c from both sides. And I'll have x, m, c, y. It's over there already. Subtract v, a, M, C. And then I'll have the VBX still on the right side. Since I'm solving for C, let's factor C out of that expression. When I factor the C out of this term, I still have X, M, Y minus. And then when I factor the C out of this term, I have V, A, M. Copying my right side. And the last step then is to divide both sides by the coefficient of C so that C can be isolated. I'll be dividing by X, M, Y minus V, A, M on both sides. This cancels, and we end up with C is equal to VBX over XMY minus VAM. 